going on everyone? This is Mitch with SC Weather. Hope y'all been having a good week. Sorry I've not been very active lately. The weather has just been pretty slow. There's not a whole lot going on. There's not a whole lot to talk about. Um, but what we're going to do in this video is we're going to start to peek ahead here into Thanksgiving week and what we can expect and potential severe weather threat that may materialize, may not. But we're going to talk about what we know right now. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, growth has slowed big time. I actually am not sure if I want to hit my goal of a thousand subscribers, which is okay. You know, there's just not a whole lot going on, but, uh, I appreciate everybody who's following along, who's, uh, listening in. About to get into the winter months and, uh, things do get interesting around here. People get excited about winter weather and I can't, I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. So hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along for weather here in the southeast and South Carolina. But let's get going. So we got the latest GFS here. We're already about Monday or Tuesday of next week. Uh, weather is going to be awesome between now and then. But we start to move in time, and I'm going to try to hit this button and see if it can get going here. And it can. So here we go. Monday, uh, South Carolina here. As you can see, we got the southeast weather. Not a whole lot going on. Not a lot of moisture. But you check out right here. Um, you got you start to get something developing here. And you get a big dip in the uh, jet stream. And what happens is we're kind of, we're not warm by any means, but we start to warm up under this dip here and it uh, gives a chance for a low pressure to really ride along this uh, dip in the jet stream here and uh, Bolden Bowl almost dips right here and you know we get a chance and this is the GFS model which is a little bit more progressive uh, definitely not as, uh, as scary looking as maybe the European model which is I'm about to show but you get a dip here you get almost maybe a linear kind of setup which means it's more of a straight line of uh, section of storms or maybe some uh, spin ups in it and uh, it's far out so this obviously doesn't look super detailed we're not going to be able to see a detailed look on how this is going to materialize until we can get some of the short range models uh, starting to come in early next week so uh, until that happens it's just kind of talk right now we're not going to know what happens but I can tell you right now here in the um, the mid-south uh, the Alabama, Mississippi, maybe Georgia area. This really needs to watch out. Maybe the Tennessee area for um, maybe some severe weather that can develop. Uh, details are very hard to talk about. But this moves into the South Carolina area, North Carolina. Um, and, and check out the time frame. This is overnight Wednesday into Thanksgiving. So if you're looking at one off the GFS, uh, it's going to be some definitely some, some wet weather. If you're traveling, uh, say, west, it's into Georgia, to Alabama, definitely expect some uh, rough weather. How rough? We just don't know yet. But uh, it's definitely going to be some active weather uh, if you're traveling Wednesday into Thursday. But I think it'll be a wet morning, Thanksgiving morning around here, potentially in the Carolinas. But I think by the evening it starts to clear out. A front pushes through a little bit cooler air, moves through nothing cold or anything. But uh, that's that's what the uh, GFS is showing. The European is it's not going to look much different, but um, and the details just aren't going to be there. And it kind of pinpoints maybe some showers around here Monday um, as a little bit of a dip comes in with a, uh, some cooler air trying to inch in, and it warms right back up. And here comes our next system. This right here, and it's the same time frame, Wednesday night into Thursday, which is the Thanksgiving has that same look to it right in this area, which signifies to me a linear, more of a straight line, area of storms, quick spin-ups, uh, strong winds. We're going to watch this. It's going to be interesting to see what develops here. Some 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 of uh, storm chasers, meteorologists are already kind of starting to highlight this area. And uh, that little look, like these little areas right here in the operational models, when you see that, um, you know, you start to kind of worry for severe weather. And we're still technically in the changing of the seasons. We've more, we're transitioned, obviously, more into the cool season. It's not technical winter yet. Meteorological winter starts uh, December 1st, but we're still changing. So we're still in that second uh, severe weather uh, season, if you will. And uh, so we still have to watch out for severe weather sometimes, but it moves into the area. It, it, GFS and European model looks like it weakens as it gets into South Carolina. So that's a good thing, but... You know, I can't stress it enough. If you're traveling west, this might be uh, disruptive uh, weather potentially for you guys. But the European's a little bit slower, still has some moisture in the area. Thanksgiving, uh, so it might be a soggy Thanksgiving. But we're going to watch this here. Um, this is another thing. This is the European uh, max wind gust uh, potential. 
potential, guys. No, nothing set in stone. Shows the little system that moves through Monday and the Tuesday. But check out here. Um, and this is where you got to watch out. These are some high winds, potential 35, 40 mile per hour winds. And it's all over the place. It's because nothing's solidified right now. You can't, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to really develop here. All we know is there's a chance for severe weather um, Thanksgiving, sometime Thanksgiving week. So we got to watch out for that. Um, but it moves into the state and it kind of pinpoints where some strong winds can be. But how these storms look, who knows? Will they come in overnight Wednesday into Thursday? Not sure, but we're going to get more details as we get closer. As far as temperatures, um, tonight's going to be chilly, but as we get into the weekend, the humidity kind of comes up. It's still going to be comfortable, but you'll notice that it's not as super dry out there as it's been uh, when we get into the weekend. But we get into, um, let's back it up a little bit. The weekend looks really nice, 70s Saturday. Get into Sunday, 70s again, very similar. Temperatures not dropping low, just into 50s and 40s. Nice fall weather, a little bit above average, but it's nice. Um, Monday, cooler temperatures. Temperatures dip a little bit lower as um, we get a little bit of a cold front that comes through here from the uh, north. And uh, we get into Tuesday, uh, Tuesday chilly day. Um, but you can tell this is another cold front coming. Um, it doesn't look stout, but it looks like it has severe weather threat coming to just a... Um, uh, maybe an upper level low dipping through, but you know, check out Wednesday. Uh, you almost got like in situation CAD setting up where you got temperatures in the 40s and close to 80 at the bottom end of the state. So big temperature contrast is possible Wednesday. We're gonna see how that develops. It's kind of far out. It's almost a week out, so we don't know temperature wise. But um, we get into Thursday. That's when our system can move through. Might be a chilly Thanksgiving in the 60s, but you know, still not that bad. And then the cooler air comes back in, but I don't. If we're when we're talking about cooler, cooler air, uh, maybe uh, the 10 to 14 day range, you start to see some more chilly air working way it working its way in as we end the month. Um, but you know that's that's way far out, and we just don't know how that's going to materialize. One thing I'll show you is the um, the Climate Center came out with their one month outlook for December, and it doesn't look good for snow lovers or winter weather lovers, or for them got people out there like me dreaming of a white Christmas. Calling for above average temperatures, 50% chance of above average temperatures. But I'm going to say it like I always do, guys. Uh, th this It only takes one storm. Um, one storm to change your all, the whole the, the whole outlook of the month. I'm sorry, but my kids are yelling in the background. So uh, take this with a grain of salt. But most of the state, I meant, well, most of the southeast, all of the southeast looks above average temperatures. It's predicting to be for the month of uh, December, so we'll see how that materializes. But I'll keep y'all updated on the severe weather threat next week, and um, uh, appreciate y'all watching, and y'all have an awesome night.